Hi everyone, my name is Bharti Chaudhary and we are going to discuss the V3 graded at the assignment of data science. Now, question number 3 states that slope of a line which cuts intercepts of equal lengths on positive sides of the axis is what? So, we have to find out that what will be the slope of a line when it cuts the intercept at the positive points. Now, if you remember the general equation that we have of a line in intercept form is x by a plus y by b, y by b is equal to 1. Now, one thing you have observed in the question, it was said that here a will be equal to b because in the question it was stating that the intercepts are equal. So, we can rewrite the same equation in this manner that is x by a plus y by a is equal to 1. Now, a is a positive quantity. So, definitely this line, this line will be lying in the first quadrant itself. Now, suppose I have marked this my arbitrary uh, point that is 0 comma a and my arbitrary point as a comma 0. So, when a line is drawn through these points, so it will look something like this. This is the required length. Now, if you know the definition of slope, it is the angle taken from the anti-clock direction with respect to your x-axis. Suppose this is my angle and this is one of my other angle. So, what let us consider this as theta. So, what this will become? This will become 180 degree minus theta. Now, here what m will be? m will be equal to your tan 180 degree minus theta which is equal to nothing but minus. minus 10 theta. It means that the slope will come negative. It's for sure that your slope is going to come negative. But let's find out that what exactly your slope will be. So we have already find out the uh, general equation. We have already got a general equation. Now just simplify it and get in the form of y is equal to mx plus c and let's find out what m is coming. So, this will be your y by a is equal to 1 minus x by a, which you can simplify and you can get a minus x, which you can rewrite this is minus x plus a. So, this is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c and you can equate this and your m will come equal to minus 1. So, your answer will be for this question, it will be minus 1, which is this one. Thank you and have a nice day and meet you in the next question.